Hi sir, my name is Diu Mingchen and I'm going to present about my final project uh, report. So my name is Diu Mingchen and my student ID is 100216 So for this um for this project is we are going to do um ex examination result slip printing program. Uh. So these are the algorithm. The first one will be the way to how we get the student ID which is uh, the users or the opponent names so we want to get the uh, first is a start then we request for the input then we will help, uh, we will request for checking the alphabet first um, so we will check the student ID whether it's uh, alphabet or space first then we will uh, check it if it is not only alphabet and spacing so it will uh, remind the the user to check again then request again the input log. so when it is true then the student id is get so next we will go to the program so the program which is the student program which is which bachelor is he taking so the first one we are going to start the program then we will print out the list and the remind uh, something like instruction then um, for the list we will only uh, give three programs then we are requesting the user to give some input by using one two or three only so we will request for the program to check it it is digit or not so if if it is false then we might request the um, user to key in again no? so it is true then it's uh, one uh, under four so uh, it will goes to different uh, sub program names that is stated la. so if it is four of above which is five six or continue then we might need the user to key in again and then um, which is here we want the user to key in again no? so uh, next we're going to the semester algorithm so we try to list up uh, we try to remind or give the instruction to the user about uh, giving the semester and the year so in this project i try to um, request the user to give the year and semester in the same line so um, we will request to it and also we try to check again the input is only digit and all also space so we are going to separate the digit uh the sem semester and the year by using space bar la. so it if it is false then we try to remind again and also request again the input so if it's true then we will check again if the semester is more than four of or it is four then we will try to uh, remind the user that the university is only giving uh, three semester so we try to request for the input again and also if it is um, under four which is one two or three then we will try to um, sub the sem into it so if the user key in the sem as one then it will uh, sub the semester as one so as stated here semester if two it will sub to two and three also is three la so the semester and year will be end like here so um the semester and the year key in will be in the same line la. so following up we were going to the most complicated part which is the um cost and grade parts la. so this is the general view of the algorithm because we are having several function in it we will explain it following next next uh, so the first one we will print out the list of the cost and the instruction first so telling the uh, user to how to input the cost and also the marks at the same line also as same as the way we input the semester and the year so um, after we key in the uh, year and also the cost we will let the program to check the cost whether it's digit or not if it is not only digit we will remind the user to key in again and input again the marks so if if it is true we go to the function code i and we will sub up the code and code name then we go to the function name i then go to the 
uh, we sub out the name, cost name, and also we go to the grid. I wish we can use the marks to sub up the cost out. Lah. So after that, we might repeat this, um, this thing about four times because we want to get five um, cost. Lah. So after repeating four times, we, we get five input. So it will go to the end. Lah. So we're going to see the next function. So these are the function in the way we get the codes, codes name and also the marks and grade. So when the user key in the cost, then it sends that the cost is only digit, then it will convert the cost into the integers. So when the cost is 1, it will sub the code as PY1001. And as stated here, cost is 2, PY1002, and 10345 land as following. Uh. If the cost input is more than 8 or it is 8, we might need the user to um we will remind the user to key in the code uh the cost again because uh as here the list only have list seven as previously I have already list out then the cost um we might request the user to key in again uh. so in other function is which is in the name i in the name i this is something uh sim similar to cost function so it's only changing in the variable change from code to the name, which uh, is the cost name of calculus one, Python programming, statistic one, data science, data analysis, ethics of programming, and also fundamentals of cybersecurity. As same as the previous function, which is the code i, if the cost is input more than seven, which is eight and above, then we will remind the user that we need to input again the cost because the university only offers seven costs. So coming to the next, the next is about the how we get the marks to convert to the grade. So in here we I divide the two two flowchart is because the flowchart is too big I can't fit it into one so I will fit it into two. So I, actually this um grade it will start here and also uh this grade I it will start here and also when the max is only digit, it will go to this flow chart. And when the max is alphabet, it will go to this chart. So I explain the digit first. Lah. So if the max is digit, it will convert the max into integers. Then uh, it will check also lo, when the max is above 80, the grade is state as A, 75, A min, 7, B plus. 65 b 60 b 9 55 c plus and following then if the max is not between 0 to 100 we will request the user to input again uh, then we only end the code then when it goes to the alphabet why we need the alphabet because we have the withdraw cost and also did not attend the um cost uh, i mean did not attend the finals that Max. So, um, when it goes to W, which is withdraw, it will sense to go to the grade is withdraw. When if it's D N, which is don't uh, attend the finals, then the grade will sub to the F because when we didn't attend to the finals, the finals will become zero marks and it will affect the total marks. Then, um, which not able to pass it because our handbook has written that if you don't pass. Uh, more than 40 marks in your finals, your total cost will become failed. So the grade will also calculate that fail. Uh. So here we also have some uh, way that when the marks is not W or DN, we will try to request the user to input again the grade. Then this is the last algorithm, which is how we print out our outcome. Uh. So we align the examination result slip in the center, also Python University, followed by the student ID in the left, and also the stated student ID, semester session, which is the semester and the year. And also we try to separate it with the star, which is multiply sign in Python. Then we will print out the title, each of it. Then we will in, uh, insert the code name, marks and grade. Then the printing session is end. So we come to the Python code. The Python is quite easy for the student names, just uh, input, request input for the user first, then we check it, either it's alphabet and only space, then if it's 
if it's false, then we try to uh, request the user to input again. So the student ID is end here. So next we're going to the program. Program is we here we stated already we how to uh, we have list out the program we of the university offer. Then we request for the program. So um, first we check about it is DJ or not. If it is not, then we try to request again. If it is yes true the program is digit then we try to have the uh we try to evaluate it though. so one is bachelor computer science in data mining bachelor science in financial mathematics for program equals to two if program equals to three it will become bachelor science in applying statistic so the next will be how we get the semester details as i mentioned before um i will list out um i will request the user by giving instruction that I want the semester and year then I here re state that in the new line common is not needed and just we need the space so it relate to the next code which is sem comma year equals input please enter the students current semester dot split so in this in this code I try to let the python to get the input by having one line but two input so here we try to mention uh, we try to check that the semester and the year is only digit and only space or not we try to have the input again so it if it is yes but when it over more than three which is four or above we try to request for the semester and year again so yeah so if nothing uh, happens or nothing wrong happens uh, the code will end here la. else and break so in here we try to get the marks and grade also the course name the course marks the course grade everything very important here so we try to uh, give instruction that the available course is what and also the name also we list out la. Uh, in here, we try to remind the user that the course name will evaluate automatically, which is we will do it in the next program. Um, this program is quite complicated, but it's almost similar, just copy and paste. But I try to get different uh, code. La. So I put it out in bigger form. So the first one, we try to get the course and the marks, which is uh, which I listed out in previously the first one is py1001 second one is py1002 so the user i request to put in one two three until seven one until seven so check it out so the marks also after the course spacebar then the marks zero to 100 or n uh, or w or dn so we will check it first if the course here is digit so if true it will go to the next which is the function of code i name i and grade i if false we try to get the cost and marks again okay so we go to the next which is the code i function which we how we get the um cost code um by using the input cost which is one equals to py one zero one and following la. so the cost will be if exceed 7 with 8 or above we try to get the new or the we try to get the input again la. so following up with the name i which is uh, more similar to this code i is just changing from course code to course name okay so the next will be the great great i program uh, great i function which we try to get um the way we get convert from marks to the grade so as here we can check out that um, we can notice that when the user key in w the grade will be withdraw when the user key in dn the grade will be f then if none of this happen we try to request the user to key in again so this is how we get the marks uh, to the grade so a a my b plus b b my and the following lah. So if exit from zero to one hundred, then yeah. So uh, how we how we know that how we let the Python know that if the max is over one hundred and it's still giving a. So in the first 
in the first if here if loop here I mentioned that the marks should be 80 to 100 will be stated as A or else it will be requesting for new input again yeah so this is how I uh, write the program to print out the actual outcome yeah so these are the stated this is why I repeating doing in uh, requesting for new code and new marks and give it with different variables to let the Python code to know which is for what lah. So this is the expected outcome which um, these two is um, in the middle of AT and also all in the left then these are those who yeah so this is the end of the presentation of mine and thank you sir for teaching me